Hello everyone, and welcome to Create Your Character. Ever since I started doing special effects makeup maybe three years ago, one of my favorite things to do was blood and gore. But it all started out when I wanted to trick my mom into thinking I had gotten into a fight at school, as a practical joke, of course. So on this episode of Create Your Character, I'm going to teach you some tricks on how to have a little fun with your friends and family by showing you how to create some simple injuries, such as a scrape, a busted lip, and a black eye. So enough of my talking, let's head to the drawing board. I'm going to start off this tutorial by doing a simple scrape across one eye. First, you're going to want to take a bit of red face paint and lightly pat it onto the skin using a stippling sponge. A stippling sponge is essentially just a sponge made out of mesh that creates a little bit more texture than a normal sponge would, and this is going to be nice if, you are, if you're going to be blending colors into the skin to make it look really natural. So you're going to want to put the red face paint where you want the scrape to go, and then smudge that into the skin. Then take that same paint with a small paintbrush and start painting more noticeable streaks onto the area. Next, wash the small brush previously used with the red face paint or grab a completely new one, it doesn't really matter which, and apply medium brown eyeshadow. You're gonna wanna apply this in short, abundant streaks throughout the wound to make it look like it's more dirty. Next, to add a bit of texture you would normally associate with a torn dermis, apply little layers of liquid latex in a stippling motion. You can also use the stippling sponge for this. And then for a final and completely optional touch, apply coffee grounds in small amounts all across the scrape to mimic dirt that would get caught in your skin if you were to scrape it on the ground. And now for the busted lip. So first you want to take the concealer and faintly apply it to your lip where you want to, where you want to place your injury. This works for your upper or lower lip, it doesn't really matter. Next, you're going to take red face paint and put it over most of the concealer. You only want to see a little bit of concealer along the edges. Next, you're going to take red and black face paint mixed together and put it in the middle of that red to add more dimension. And then to add even more dimension to that and add more texture, you're going to want to place the clotted blood mixture in the center, in the center of the darker red face paint. And then finally, we're going to be going over the black eye. To, to start off, I'm going to be going over most of the area with a stippling sponge that I used earlier and red paint to mimic irritation on the skin that you would normally associate with someone who just got punched in the face. So just make sure to make the areas asymmetrical since black eyes aren't exactly perfect. Next, I'm going to be going over with dark purple in the inner and outer corners of the eye to recreate how blood would normally pool in the skin after a black eye is present. Then after all that, I'm going to be going in with the yellow face paint and put it on the outer edges of the wound and more in the middle to mimic how a black eye would normally look after being on your face for maybe a day or two. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be using the clotted blood from earlier, not too much, but just a little bit, to add a little bit of dimension in some of the darker parts of the wound. Well, that's all I have for this episode. If you have any suggestions for my next character, tweet me at ZTVGoofingOff with the hashtag createyourcharacter. I'm Becca Tyler, and I'll see you the next time around on Create Your Character.